Shout out to this pimple, pimple, pimple. <laughs> I ain't love my bad boy. I ain't love my bad boy. You say I'm love my bad boy. I ain't love my bad boy. Dang, finest heaven. Call the Reverend. Six and chills. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please make sure you subscribe. Today's video is going to be how I turn my 613 into an ash blonde with dark roots. This is the hair color I use. It's from Colestone. I'm going to start with the front, I think. So this color is in the shade dark coffee i can't really remember i'm not sure so it comes with a 30 developer and a 20 developer like the other ash blonde color was in the same brand so they gave me one 30 volume developer and a 20 volume developer but i think i ended up using 20 volume developer for the brown color that's for the frontal because you know you have to use um not a strong volume developer for your frontal if not you're going to have a lot of shedding so now i'm just trying to put the color the brown color just at the roots of the frontal and i'm using the comb to like brush it out into the hair or like brush it into the hair because i was trying to go for a brown highlight on the frontal because i didn't want it to just be ash blonde i wasn't sure it was going to fit me so yeah i was trying to go for something that complements my skin tone so all i'm doing here is just putting the frontal or <laughs> putting the frontal i'm just putting the color on the roots of the frontal and i'm brushing it into the hair and then i was also applying the color on the lace i don't know if you can see but i was trying to do that because the lace is really white and you know i'm black girl so yeah i was too lazy and i didn't know what to use to tone the lace down so i decided why not use the brown color to just dye the lace and if it doesn't work out we're just going to apply foundation and to be our color that's all i thought of so yeah and it works for me so if you are as dark as me or black as me then i think you can do that but i wish i went for a lighter color of brown because um this one ended up looking like black but it was really dark really deep like mahogany color <laughs> i'm just kidding so yeah um that's what i'm just doing right now i mean it's taking forever really I was so tired and i'm very lazy sometimes i don't like things that take forever but i mean the result was good so i'm happy i mean you can imagine this color you know first i tried to use like um what's it called um purple shimmer shampoo or something shimmer lights but we don't have shimmer lights we have silver lights or something i can't remember the name but i don't know we've got something that is imported from uk so i thought that could work as um shimmer light the purple shampoo thingy so i tried to wash out the yellow tone on the hair but it didn't work okay now we're back to our ash blonde this is the color stone hair color in the color 8.1 and i was using their 30 volume developer and all i'm doing here is just applying like i was too lazy to go and buy another bottle because this one bottle i had was not going to be enough for the whole hair but i was like whatever we're going to work with it so all i was doing was applying very little on the hair and i'll just comb it with my hair comb and just let the hair process i tried to put in every part as possible even though i didn't and uh, because i stay running out of the hair color so i decided to apply it in the places where people will see or something and i was i still leaving the roots untouched or something because i didn't want to go and buy another one i wasn't sure i would like the color i didn't want to waste my money so yeah i was just experimenting i was like if it doesn't work i'm going to turn this hair to blue or black like i'm not a blonde girl because i wish i took Took a video of how i looked on that 613 i was so embarrassed i couldn't do that to myself i couldn't put that out there to myself so i couldn't put that out there. i couldn't put that out and do that to myself so yeah this is what i'm doing right now and instead turning gray and i was scared i was like i don't want a gray hair what can i do i still thinking we don't have like toner or maybe we can have here but i don't know what it's called in turkish so i was like god what am i going to do 
if this hair turns gray i was like whatever i'll just dye it black like no hard feelings but yeah i mean the hair turned out to be nice so i'll just leave you guys to enjoy the video and i'll be back when i'm almost at the frontal or when i'm on the frontal so i've gotten to the front cell and as you can see the hair really toned out like the brown was ready ready it has processed or something or like dyed i don't even understand but i noticed i didn't like get into all the hair but whatever so now i'm just using my ash blonde on my front cell and as you can see like um the hair hair on the what's it called on the front side also had like brown dyed already i was scared i was like what have i done and the brown was looking like black i was like okay wow but then i just decided that okay i'll just apply the ash blonde color on the brown like even if it's going to look brown but it's going to look light brown because i felt like the ash brown was going to lift the dark darkness of the brown so i kept on applying and i was combing the hair because i wanted to have like a transition and not just be there 